Hello everyone, welcome to the Economic Week Ahead brought to you by Business Day in conjunction with the Movement Studio. My name is Eniola Olatunji and with me is Zainab Adirongo. This week we have very important data coming from Nigeria and the US and we have quite a number coming out today from the National Bureau of Statistics. And starting this year, we're expecting the capital importation report. Yeah. We're also expecting the foreign and domestic debt report. Yeah, we're, we're also, also expecting, expecting the purchasing managers, managers index. index. Although that's not by the National Bureau of Statistics. I stand big IBTC. Yeah, exactly. So starting with the capital importation report, this week, this week, which is Monday today, we're expecting the capital importation report for the first quarter of this week year. That is January, February, and March. So last year, in the last quarter, Nigeria received a total of 1.08 billion Naira in capital importation, which was higher than what we had in Q3 2023. And then this year, I expect that we will actually see more data. Okay, well, you know, we're in the midst of um, investors wanting more, we're in the midst of them wanting more stability, more confidence in the market. So when you expect that they see more, is it that there would be you know, increased confidence or increased stability in the market such that there will be more capital importation? Well, this since I'm, um, the data is coming from Q1, which is January, February and March. And then in the first quarter, we saw a lot of foreign investors come into Nigeria. The capital importation report is a report that shows the money that came into Nigeria economy from foreign countries, either by investment, trade or doing business. And in the first quarter, we saw a, a, like a huge inflow of foreign investors so i feel like that would actually influence the capital importation report to a very large extent now most of what you're talking about which is um the which was caused from like maybe um the 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 devaluation although it happened in the first quarter but it's more prevalent now in the second quarter and since that will be maybe the data we expect from the Q2 capital importation reports. But for Q1, we expect that we would see like a higher figure than we saw in the last quarter. Then about is the second data we're Yeah, we are today. expecting the foreign and domestic debt stock reports for Nigeria. And interestingly, um, in the Q3 of 2023, we had about 87 trillion naira in debt stock, which increased to 97 trillion naira in the fourth quarter of 2024. And you know what interests me the most is the fact that when we talk about the list of states, you know, the high highest ranking states with the highest debt stock, Lagos tops number one, Lagos tops the list on it's both expected. foreign and <laughs> I, I think that's domestic debt stock. We had about 1.3 uh, trillion naira in domestic debt stock and, and also about $1.2 billion in foreign debt stock. We are the, like Lagos is the... Yeah, the, I mean, we are the, the um, top destination for investors. So definitely we should have more debts than any other state. Yeah, so we are also expecting the uh, Purchasing Managers Index. And it was happening in the business space because the Purchasing <coughs> Managers Index measures what's happening in the business space. What's yeah. happening in the business space? So the Purchasing Managers Index is by Stambic IBTC. And it's, um, it's, va- it's measured in points. Any points higher than 50 points, means that business activities are great but point lower than 50 points means that it's, it's a, a red, red flag, flag. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah in april we saw um, the purchasing managers in were at 51.1 points and that was higher it leads slightly higher than what it was in march at 51 points but that's because in april we saw the naira do so well it was named the best performing currency in the world mm-hmm, but now <laughs> but it lost its team very fast i <laughs> know it's the worst performing currency in the world but that really helped like the business environment and that is why we saw that increase in the purchasing managers index and for me since we all know that the naira yes so fast in me in fact last week it there was a bit of hope when it went to 1170 something that was on Tuesday and then by Thursday it was back in 1400 so we expect that this um the data coming the manage, purchasing manager index coming in for me will be slightly lower than April but I but not lower than 50 points because um 50 lower than 50 points as I said earlier yeah, is a red flag and means that like business activities are really 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 bad and so we expect that may data should be lower than april but not and that would be the first decline in three months because 
in from between April, March, and February, we've had like very consistent increase. Yes, in yes. In yes. So Zainab, um, yes, there's we another are also detail. expecting the foreign trade in goods report, which measures the volume of trading activities in Nigeria. And interestingly, in the third quarter of 2023, we had a trade surplus, which means that our exports, we export, you know, that's the very our big myth that we yeah, import we are, we are import where import, import dependence. dependence. But, you know, you, it's, it's a myth. Yes. Like you you said. could actually actually go read our story on it. We wrote the story on how it's a myth. So you can check our website for that. Yeah, definitely. But unfortunately, we were unable to sustain that um, surplus such that in the fourth quarter, so when you were saying the myth, I was trying to tell you, <laughs> you should have told me. <laughs> we were unable to sustain it. And so in the fourth quarter of 2023, we had a trade deficit. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, expected we've had the Naira FX volatility, the Naira decline, and, you know, all of the instability in the macroeconomic landscape. So expectedly, it should, um, you know, the, the deficit should continue in mm. the first quarter of 2020. What has particularly stood out to me in all of these data we're expecting is how much the Naira volatility really affects everything. Everything like all of the data we mentioned so far, we have mentioned been how affected yeah, by, been affected by it, and I really hope that um, something will be done about it. We are coming to the Naira, but before the Naira, we are expecting that the US, we expect the US to release its unemployment data this week on Thursday. Now, the US last month in april recorded and higher than expected u.s um, u.s unemployment figure which was 3.9 percent and that was higher than the 3.8 percent projected now why is that important to us all of u.s data both its um unemployment figure its inflation, inflation figure its gdp gives the monetary policy committee decision like informed it's decision like to take yeah, their the indications for the and this year honestly the US hasn't had they haven't had the best of results because the inflation has continued to go month on month. It's um GDP quarter first quarter GDP result also came lower than expected I and mean, there wasn't so much growth and also initially in the year there was there were rates cuts expectations because it has held its rates for six consecutive times at um a range of 5.25 percent to 5.5 percent and they need to cut the rate because like i rate high interest rates means that like they are borrowing at very high rates although like it's good it's good for like yeah you ditch their securities but like now there is and there's an expectation that they will cut rates by september so what what the u.s um the figure coming out this week should hold also further inform when the and by our yes and when they would cut but, yes you know, when interestingly there's this way that we are sort of tied to the yes, united states like, you, economy i'm telling you everyone whatever decision every current almost every currency is pegged against the dollar against, exactly so like it's expected everyone especially for emerging markets if the cost rate is good news for us like it's great news for us because then us um investors in the us will be looking for other countries to invest into and where else than emerging market we have like Right now, our yeah, interest and considering rate, our interest is about yes, twenty six point two five percent, which yeah, is so really it's high. really attractive. For but like aside rates. from like just the interest rate, they look out for other things: stability, confidence in the market, confidence in the market, their stability. How would they be able to get their money back? How would they be able to repatriate their funds? All of that. So, yeah, those are some of the things they look out for. But honestly, a rate cut would be like great news for us actually it would be very very great news all right so let's us. go straight into the naira. the naira the naira the naira the naira what has been happening to the naira no. <laughs> am i sure the tear because please don't 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 yet because you don't know what the naira would say tomorrow yes we so don't th like it's so keep your it's, tears it's, for tomorrow it's so volatile you know sometimes last week on tuesday i was called like i knew that naira is at a thousand one hundred go and do what you have to do and i was like okay i'll do it i'll do it then on Thursday, please don't tell me you stalled. I stalled, <laughs> Zina, I stalled. And on Thursday, it was a thousand four hundred. Amazing. I'm like, I should have done it on, on Tuesday. But you know, anyway, with the Naira, you have to be on your toes. That's what that's what it is. Immediately, it's just let's say I'm not um, a trader. Why am I constantly? You have to. You have to be. Everybody has to be a trader at this point. <laughs> everybody has to be a trader because you need to know what the Naira closed at. You need to know what um, expenses your business will be incurring. Sure. Imagine that like, you thought that oh, you were going to order for some goods for at that amount. Then on Thursday, you it was a different that. amount. <sighs> what what has been some of the interventions that happened? In, um, yes, in so last week, week there was a, about 300 million 
naira sales to um banks. to banks but aside that in two weeks time that's um june 13th we are expecting that the imf to decide if it's going to um lend a a figure of about 2.2 2.5 billion naira to nigeria the minister of finance says it's almost free money because it's it's a it's at, it's a one, at a very low rate. interest rate and if that money comes honestly it's going to go go a great Definitely deal boost yes it will, it will it will boost fx liquidity and the naira should see like so a strengthening. A strengthening this month so we really expect to, we are praying that the imf in case they see this video we pray they give us they we get that amount and also the fiscal side and the monetary policy side are beginning to work hand in hand because um there was a meeting with Taiwo Edele last week where he spoke about some of the um things that the tax committee the tax committee is doing to also like ensure the straining of naira the um bringing in inflation and all of that stuff saying i just hope like all of these things that they are doing you know i i there's one quote that says hope is not a strategy <laughs> you have to actually be strategic and not hope but so let's look at the numbers when the reports come out then we'll know what's going to happen or what's happening especially all right ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for tuning in to the economic week ahead brought to you by business day in partnership with the movement studio follow us on all social media platforms at business day ng and log on to our website to read more about this at www.businessday.ng until we meet again next week, my name is Zainab Adirumi. And I am Enyola Latiji. See you next week. For more in-depth analysis, please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng.